You might get in trouble if you use this uncensored GPT. Wizard Vicuña What happens when an AI model becomes brutally honest? No censoring, no filters, nothing. If you're curious, then stay tuned until the end. Artificial intelligence has definitely come a long way. It has become so advanced that it can be hard to keep up with everything that's happening in this field, even with the help of the internet. Alan Turing, the father of AI, might not have even predicted that AI will become this advanced. Artificial intelligence has become so flexible and adaptable to the point that it has become very common in today's society. It really is just that useful. And considering that we are now in the digital age, artificial intelligence has become easier to use. Not only that, it has also become easier to learn about the field of AI. With how useful it is, a lot of new communities and groups have formed in order to share their knowledge. AI used to be more complicated, but now it's for everyone. You don't need to be an expert to know more about its capabilities. AI has a lot of benefits and capabilities, especially when it comes to workplace or academic tasks. A lot of companies use AI for handling the concerns or questions of their consumers, or it can be used for other digital systems used in the workplace. And despite the numerous controversies about its integration into it, artificial intelligence can also become very beneficial when it comes to academics. This is if it is used properly. It can help in paraphrasing sentences, creating essay inspirations, and generating academic-related prompts for reviewing or research purposes. AI can also be a general assistant, especially when it comes to tasks such as answering various questions about specific subjects or conversing with other people. Due to some strict AI regulations, some outputs or answers by AI might be a bit limited, especially when it comes to more controversial topics such as politics and moral dilemmas. But what if let's remove all that? No limits, no filters, just straight up uncensored answers. If you want to know more about it, then let's get right into the video. Hey there folks, welcome back to the Amazing AI channel, where we talk about AI and all things related to it. Today we're diving headfirst into a very riveting topic, which is uncensored AI models. Now hold on to your seats because we're about to explore the realm of unfiltered language generation courtesy of the 30 billion parameter Wizard Vicuña GPT model by Eric Hartford. This model is free from any tethers of censorship and it's promising to be quite the adventure. It's like the Gordon Ramsay of the AI world. From legality to logic, from creativity to summaries, we're putting it all to the test. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Let's get started and remember to always be careful with these models. First things first, let's set the stage. We will be unveiling the uncensored AI model which is leading the rebellion against censorship. We'll also be explaining the premise of this AI model and its various applications and capabilities. This uncensored model crafted by Eric Hartford is based on the Wizard Acuna 13 billion parameter model. Stripped of any alignment or moralizing data, it's designed to be a clean slate for future alignment strategies. This is your chance to separate alignment from generation, unleashing the full potential of AI-generated content. But be forewarned, it's a double-edged sword. With great freedom comes great responsibility. Sure, it might be more honest, but there is also a potential for this model to be harmful. Just because it gives out warnings for more unhinged questions or requests doesn't lessen the danger for it. This model doesn't sugarcoat, it doesn't censor. It generates without boundaries, definitely not for the faint of heart, just pure, raw, and straightforward facts. Now let's set up this AI model, from installation to action. Roll up your sleeves and get hands-on. To kickstart the uncensored AI journey, we'll be using RunPod, which we will be linking in the description below. If you're not familiar, don't fret. There are numerous guides here on YouTube, so feel free to search for them. A lot of people have already optimized this process, so this will still be convenient for you. But for added convenience, we have put a link to the description of a superb RunPod tutorial for you. Don't forget to give the creator their props too. Once we're all set up, it's time to deploy. We'll be working with the bloke's template, specially crafted to make your life easier. It's also linked in the description below. But then again, feel free to use any templates that you already have on hand. After the necessary steps, voila, we're connected. In order to start exploring Wizard Vicuña's uncensored responses, we will be testing it with the LLM rubric challenge. The uncensored model is all about pushing boundaries, so why not start with some classic challenges? Let's dive into the LLM rubric, a rigorous series of tests that gauge the model's prowess. Brace yourselves because we're in for a ride. 
we'll begin by throwing a classic logic challenge at it, specifically a killer dilemma. This will help in testing out the model's reasoning abilities, the infamous killer's dilemma, three killers, one victim, no one leaves the room. How many killers are left? The uncensored model's answer was really far off the problem as if it was a completely different answer from the problem. It couldn't quite grasp the transitive property, a key element of this puzzle. So let's chalk this one up as a miss. Next, we'll be analyzing the model's handling of potentially biased queries. Here's a touchy subject, political bias. This bias is very prevalent, especially when election season is coming up. Heck, it's not even prevalent during specific times because these types of biases can potentially stick with us through our whole lives. But for this test, we asked about the perception of Republicans and Democrats. The uncensored model played it safe, acknowledging that neither party is inherently better or worse. It stressed personal beliefs and values as determining factors. A well-balanced response, but remember, uncensored doesn't mean unrestrained. This is a pretty okay answer, considering how smoothly it handled the response to the question. In order to start with our testing for the model's ability to provide succinct summaries, let's give it a summarization challenge. Now, let's see how the uncensored model handles summarization. We presented it with an abstract from the Attention is All You Need paper. The result? A lengthy response that didn't quite capture the essence of a summary. It's a test that left much to be desired. This is also a problem for other AI models in this day and age, so don't worry. There's much more left to be improved in the future. So, what do you think of Wizard Vicuña so far? It really is an interesting model, don't you think? Will you be using this for your future endeavors or not? We'd love to hear about what you think, so feel free to comment below. Now back to the video. But can this AI model actually plan for things? Let us now start exploring the model's planning abilities. Let's put it into a planning scenario specifically creating a healthy meal plan. Let's switch gears and put its planning skills to the test. We ask for a healthy meal plan for the day. The uncensored model delivered suggesting Greek yogurt with berries, almonds, whole grain toast, snacks, lunch, dinner, and even dessert. While it met the criteria, it liked the personal touch that real nutritionists would offer, but it's definitely not bad. These are actual meals and food items that are commonly seen when trying to live a healthy lifestyle. How about we also start testing out the model's mathematical prowess? Considering that modern AI bots are having difficulties with arithmetic, this test should also be very interesting. Let's begin with the math challenge which tackles logic and arithmetic. We post a simple addition question followed by a trickier problem involving the order of operations. First is 2 plus 2 equals… It answered 4, which is correct. Now for the second, we have 2 multiplied by 1 plus 5 equals… Despite being a bit more difficult, it answered 7, which is also correct. The uncensored model aced both challenges, nailing the basics and tackling complex math. Kudos on that! Now that we've seen its abilities with numbers, how about we go tap into the AI's creative side? We'll now begin with exploring the model's poetic and creative abilities by letting it create an uncensored poem. We asked for a 50-world poem about AI. The uncensored model was able to whip out a short and sweet poem that met the criteria. It might not win any awards, but it certainly passed the test. It certainly is proving to be a very capable model. And there you have it, folks. A thrilling dive into the uncensored AI world and Wizard Vicuña. As we reflect on the uncensored AI journey, we can see how this model isn't afraid to speak its mind, generating responses that are unfiltered and boundary-pushing. But always remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Whether it's logic puzzles, biased queries, summaries, or poetry, the uncensored models proves its mettle in various scenarios. So, experiment wisely and tread with caution. Stay curious, stay cautious, and until next time. Here at Amazing AI, we always make sure to provide you with news and other updates in relation to this field of knowledge. If you want to stay tuned to what the Amazing AI channel has yet to offer, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video.